Greetings fellow poets and welcome to another exciting edition of Poetry 101. I'm your teaching artist and wordsmith, Darian Deshaun. What time is it, you ask? That's right, it's Diamante time. Diamante, 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 Diamante. Thank you. I'm a poet, you're a poet, get ready to write. <sighs> Boredom. Slow. Unbearable. Fidgeting. Yawning, dozing, <laughs> lines, lectures, festivals, parades, smiling, dancing, <laughs> laughing, enjoyable, delightful, fun! Raise the roof for that poem. Raise the roof, raise the roof, raise the roof, raise the roof, raise the roof. Okay, so that poem uh, that I just did was called a Diamante poem. Can you say Diamante? Diamante. Perfect. And a Diamante poem is a seven line poem that changes gradually from one idea to the direct opposite, written in the shape of, you guessed it, a diamond. Okay, and so remember the, the piece I just did. I started with boredom, right? And I ended with fun, right? Direct opposites. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna break down the, the structure of the way a Diamante poem works, okay? But in order for me to do that, I think I need to downsize so I can make the text bigger so you guys can see it. But in order for me to do that, I gotta downsize. So I'm gonna use the power of my wordsmith skills to do that in three, two, one, poco. Love doing that. Love it. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to take a, a sheet of paper, a blank sheet of paper, and I want you to write a huge, or draw, draw a huge diamond on the page, right? Or a, a slanted square, because that's really what it is anyways, right? And if you're just using a document, then don't worry about this part, okay? So now what I want you to do is, once you have your diamond, is at the very top of it, I want you to draw a line, just a shoo, and below that, what I want you to do is I want you to write down subject, okay? And then below that, what I want you to do is you're gonna write down um, adjective, adjective, right? With, with two lines there, okay? And make sure you give yourself, make sure you give yourself some space, but remember, it's, all, it's gonna be a seven line poem, so make sure you don't give yourself too much space, all right? So you have your subject, you have your two adjectives, and then below that, what I want you to do is I want you to write down three lines, one, two, three, and what you're gonna do underneath that is you're gonna put ing, ing, ing. And what those are, those are our action words, right? And every action word is gonna end with a ing, okay? And then below that fourth line, what I want you to do is you're gonna put four different lines, one, two, three, four. And this is kind of the turning point of the poem, right? So. Oh, so underneath those lines, you're gonna put word, 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 word. And what's happening there is you're using two words to describe the first subject, right? And then the other two you're gonna to use to describe the two words there, you're gonna to use to describe the bottom subject, all right? Then what you're gonna do is below that, you're gonna write down ing, ing, ing. We're going back to the action words, right? And there's three of them there, right? And then below that, Getting close, second to the, this is the second to last line. You're gonna put the adjectives again. So adjective, adjective. And then finally, last but not least, you have one more line there and you're gonna write down subject. Okay, so that is the entire structure of a Diamante poem. So what I wanna do now is let's bring my poem back up just so you can see it and boom. And whoop, there it is, right? So again, you can see right away how I use the, the ing, right? You see where I use the, the adjectives. Right, and you see in that with those words there where I shifted, where I went from boredom uh, into fun, right? So that's how you do it. So what I'll do is I'll leave this up just as a template in case you want to continue to use it. So let me just move that over, all right? But I want to keep that empty so you can see the, the structure of it because that's what you guys are going to fill in, all right? So now what I want you to do is it's your turn. You're going to create a Diamante poem, um, but here's what I'm going to do. I know it can be kind of hard to think of a couple of... Um, opposite words so i'm going to give you a couple just for your own choosing if you want to so there is there's fire and water right there is uh night and day right there is summer winter there is 
villains, and heroes. Ah, all right. So you can use any of those if you want to. And don't worry about if somebody else uses the same one too because, you know, everybody's voice is different. Everybody's perspective is different. So I promise you, even if you have the same subject, you guys are going to have different poems, okay? So I'm going to give you about, let's say, mm, seven minutes because I know it could take 